In this hands-on tutorial, we'll set up a feed to ingest fictitious website data into a Hadoop Hive table. We'll walk through the configuration options, then run the feed and see the results. You can follow along with your own Kylo Sandbox instance. The sample file we use can be downloaded from the kylo.io quick start page. So let's get started. Access Kylo with your browser and then log in. You log in with DL admin, password, think big, all lowercase. We're in the Feed Manager module where all existing feeds are listed. To create a new feed, we click the plus at the top right of the screen. We're presented with a few options. Select the Standard Data Ingest option. Kylo provides a wizard to walk you through the process. We'll give this feed a friendly name. Our feed will ingest website registration data, so let's call it User Signups. Next, we choose a category. The sandbox comes with some pre-configured categories but you can of course create your own categories from the category option at the left. In this step, we'll choose a source for the incoming data. In this case, we're expecting data to arrive on the file system. The file filter is a regular expression which instructs Kylo the naming pattern of incoming files. Our files will be called user data with a number and a CSV extension. We also want to specify the directory that Kylo should monitor for incoming files. This is defaulted to var drop zone, which is fine in our case. In step three, we define the target hive schema. The easiest way to do this is to provide a sample file. Kylo will use that sample file to infer a schema and the data types. The sample file for this tutorial can be downloaded from the kylo.io quick start page. Choose the file from your local file system. Our sample file has some records with intentional data type errors for this exercise, so Kylo inferred strings instead of the native types. But we'll simply preview the data and correct for the desired data type. We can see from the preview that this field is a timestamp. If we know something represents a primary key or an intrinsic timestamp such as create or modify date, it's good to indicate that so Kylo can expose some additional processing options later on. We can also change column names, add field descriptions, or even eliminate unwanted columns. After we are satisfied with the schema, we can optionally add a partition. Partitions can be useful for large tables and will help Hive optimize queries that select on the partition value. We'll add just one partition, which will be the registration year. To do this, select the source field, which is registration date time, choose a formula, year. Kyla will generate a partition name that you can optionally change if desired. There may be additional options. In this case, our file will arrive with a header record. We want to strip this, otherwise we'll get the header as data in Hive. So the default here is correct. Now we're at step four, where we define data cleansing, standardization, or validation policies. By clicking index, Kylo will automatically index certain field records, which will be used in the global search feature. Here we'll enable global search terms against first name, last name, email, and gender of the user. Kylo automatically profiles data upon ingest, but it is possible to disable profiling for columns by unchecking the field. Next, we can add standardization policies that can perform simple transforms on the incoming data. For example, the incoming date value is not in the format expected by Hive. We will apply a date template that will correct this. We also don't want raw credit cards in Hive, so we'll mask the credit card preserving the last four digits. Now we'll add two simple validation policies. Let's choose to validate the email format and the IP address. 
Records that fail validation will not get ingested into the final hive table, but get binned into a special table that can be reviewed for remediation. Next, we can choose an ingest strategy. Do you want to replace the data in the target table each time? Append new data or even upsert based on the primary key we specified earlier? We'll choose that option. Even though raw data is common to limited text, we can pick a more optimal data format for our hive table. Kylo automatically handles this conversion. We'll select a popular columnar format that is optimized for hive queries in space. In addition, we'll pick snappy block compression to further reduce the size of data files. It's useful to provide additional business metadata, such as data owner, business unit, etc., that gives extra context when someone is trying to understand your feed. Kylo allows an admin to set up standard fields that will appear on this screen. Finally, you can add search tags that simplify searching. Okay, we're at the last step. We're going to schedule this feed to run on a short timer, so Kylo will check for new incoming files on the file system every five seconds. Kylo also supports a more complex cron-based schedule, so you can schedule feeds to, feeds to run at certain times of the day or week. Here, we just want a timer. Once we click Create, Kylo provisions the new feed and is ready to ingest data. Back in the feed list, we'll see our new feed. We can click and review and edit details if needed. Let's use a helpful shortcut for dropping a file for our feed to ingest. This option will upload a file from your computer onto the targeted drop zone folder. We could obviously log in to the Kylo machine and copy files into our var drop zone, which is normally what would happen in production, but this is the easiest method to do a quick test. Pick the sample file we used earlier. Now Kylo should be processing that data file. Let's switch our hat to an IT operations user and see what's going on. Click Operational Job Details and let's go to the Operations dash Dashboard, which should see our feed in the running state. Let's drill in and see specifically which step it's on and how long each step is taking. The step list will automatically refresh, so you can wait here for the ingest to finish. Keep in mind our sandbox is not representative of performance of a real Hadoop cluster. Great, here we see the feed finished and its status. We can jump back over to the feed manager and see additional results. Use the left navigation to get there. The profile tab in feed details provides information about the number of records in the source, number of valid ingested records, and a number of invalid records. We can see there were seven invalid results. If you click on the number, you can see more detail. The columns with orange text are invalid and the reason is embedded in the column. Here Kylo flagged problems with IP address. It also found an ID that does not convert to int and a salary record that didn't conform to the double type specified. The profile tab provides statistics about the ingest batch. Kylo automatically profiles each column generating useful statistics for understanding the nature of the data better. This is the end of the tutorial. Now that you understand how to ingest data into Hadoop and Hive, try out the next tutorial to learn how to wrangle data.